Okay, so with that thing in mind, I, I think it would be a good idea to go to the tool store first, yes. Once we get to this tool store, we can get whatever we want, we need there, and then maybe, maybe we'll find a clue to the safe. Assuming that it's a secret anyways. I had in mind that maybe the journal is actually a clue, but I'm not sure, it's not giving me enough information. Like, uh, uh no, I mean the letters, yeah. That last thing. 4, 8, 15, 16, it could possibly be a clue, but I'm not sure. I'm kind of just randomly assuming. Until I get more information from anything, boards or something, I'm just gonna go straight to the tool store and open the door from the bottom. Maybe I will find a clue there. Could be anything. Could be just something written on the uh, board that I can notice immediately. This way. Okay, remember, it's not V, it's B. Okay, good. Solid. Very good, very good. And there we go. Turn off the torch for a bit here, and then... We put in the key! And... Okay, sure, um... Sure thing, Lara. <laughs> there we go. Open the door. And there we go. Wow, this place is actually much more smaller than I thought. Huh. Anything here? There's something at the back. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> Can't go down the bottom. Up the middle it is then. Hmm, can I actually... No, I don't think you can break it at all. There's too much stuff around it. Let's turn on the torch again. There's some stuff here. Come on, you gotta me. You gotta give me some clues to the safe. It's gonna be somewhere here. Okay, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a pickaxe here. I'm gonna be able to use it to break open that other door. There we go. As I suspected. Hmm. Hang on. Break down heavy doors and barricades. Gotcha. But hang on. Does it count as a web? Bah, okay. You're basically basically just telling me what I already knew with a crowbar. It's just a different item to open locked doors with nothing particularly special. Hmm. Oh, come on, man. You gotta give me something. Maybe the save is the journal entries. But I'm not sure how they are... How it matters. Maybe there's just something that I miss. Or maybe... No. I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure of myself. I'm just gonna put it on the back burner for now. In the event that I want to leave the map, I'll come back to that. And consider. I've got better things to do than to sit around and guess. Guess a safe combination for days. Until that happens, all we have to do is just. Okay, hang on. I was trying to do a smooth jump there, but I missed. Anyways, yeah, like I said before, we'll just have to do... go with the flow. Go with the flow. Once I know the. Yeah, I already said before. So I reset the board, it's the map, and is nigh, I'll revisit that safe thing and see if I can get something out of that. Anyways, yeah, it took us a while before we finally got the pickaxe. Okay, let's see if I can actually aim this one well. Ah, still hit the hit there. I'm sure I could have actually reach the other side of that other bit. Without needing to do that old shenanigan. Oh, just give me a sec. And I'll be right over in the jiffy. Right side, there we go. Nothing Lara can't handle. You know, part of me kind of wish that you can jump from these. Because it's really not that far, the distance. 
still needing to walk the beam still kind of funny if it's a bit further away yeah okay I can I, I don't mind it I kind of understand but with this yeah okay smooth going still equip the pistol still you never know what's gonna be around the corner Wait, was that actually a good idea? This way. I think this way is the safer route. I can just hop down from the elevator shaft. Instead of doing all that shenanigan again with the windowsill. Okay, so. Assuming that there's no shenanigans. Shenanigans abound. Okay. Not my best decision. Really? Ah, come on. I went down the elevator shop last time. It worked fine. Why is it failing now? Ridiculous. Okay, hang on. Maybe I'm just doing this wrong. Oh, whatever. I'll go down the other way then. <sighs> Hooligan. Fine. Nonsense. <sighs> okay, this way, and then this way, come on. I can't believe that. There's two ways to go downstairs, and both of them are god-awful. Either I have to do leap of fates down a very tricksy jump, or I have to rely on shanigunnery so I could fall down that bit without hitting the wall and just stopping all momentum. Okay, so this again. Can I do the exact same move I did last time? Yes, I did. Okay, good. That's a solid jump. Okay, and then... The pickaxe, kind madam. For this bit here. Another key, another door. Wait, is it secret? No. All that for a secret? Okay, so there is an intended place for me to search, but this was not it. All right. <laughs> I just remember the bit with the upstairs apartment. Yeah, now I remember. <laughs> How silly of me. Oh, so all this run around first was just for a... Okay, that just happened. That's fine. Some bandages. Oh, there's actually something up there. Hang on. Allow me. Come on. Keep it slow. Alright, and then... Shotgun shells. Nice. So how much actually have we done here? Was it remarks? Yeah, I think it might be remarks. I got four out of five. So I suspect the last one must be the save. Hmm, yes. It must be, it must be. I just need to find a save combination, then all will be well. Where is the save combination? Who knows? Okay. <laughs> so the first thing that comes to my mind turns out to not be the actual way to progress, and the other one. It's actually the other one. I need to go on top of the tool store in order to get to the explosives cache. Okay. Uh, I think this is a good spot. Right. Save again. Okay. A bit of a shame that I had to reload a couple of saves back there, but okay. Really now? That's... Mm. These touchy jumps, I swear. Side positioning, come on. There we go, much better. It's like these people know that the... One of the major weaknesses of classic Tomb Raiders are the... Uh, 
touchy cameras, but instead of working with them, they decided, hey, let's just put Lara inside a whole bunch of cramped spaces where the cameras can't judge how well things are. And I can't really blame them. How else are you going to make something like this and not be awkward looking in the Tomb Raider, classic Tomb Raider engine? Only so much that you can do. Okay, question real quick. Do I really actually need to do all that beam jump, beam walking? Could I not just do a spring jump and save all that? It would help if I jump. <laughs> Please don't do that again. Three steps and then... Yeah, I don't, I don't even need to do the beam walking. Ugh. Well, I mean, I do... Really? Really? Come on, Miss Croft. It's, it's not that far. Gosh, it's just nonsense. Ugh. It's haste. It's gotta be haste. I'm trying to speed things along, and I just keep getting caught by the small stupid things. And that just happened again. Why? I could have sworn I was in the right angle. Ugh. I'm getting complacent. Oh, hey, now I do grab the wall. Thanks. Okay. Make sure the ponytail is dead smack. But, Lara, please. Okay. There. My goodness. Okay, then. This should be good. Okay. No, just slightly off to the right. Anyways, yeah, like I said, a tricky balance between trying to make a believable environment and not making gameplay suffer for it. It's a tricky balance, I've been there before. 